so it's Saturday morning and it's 10 o'clock we just got over to the dunes and uh, it's raining but Lance and Stacy showed up and yeah. we're uh, hey so we're just gonna have some a little, little bit of fun um, it's supposed to dry off here shortly which hopefully that's the case so right now there isn't too many people out which is all right not sure what's going on over there, but whatever it is, don't look good. Might be better if it burns down. Is that rain in here? <laughs> it looks pretty steamy, like radiator. I don't see any flames. Must have dumped the hose. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. Old first gen forerunner. Trying to climb the hill. No top, no doors, no tailgate. But it's a Toyota, so no balls. Come to find out, that's Blake. And that motor is down to two squirrels. And he's got no air in the tires whatsoever. He pulled the cores right out, but he made it. Heck yeah. Sweet. <laughs> so shitbox nationals weekend so blake and ben brought a shitbox forerunner that was on its last legs and then blake just knocked those out from under it that'll happen so i don't know what happened but he killed the last squirrel, so we got her hooked up. We're gonna see if we can drag this thing out of here, get it back over to their campground, they stayed at Value Lakes, so we gotta get it over there and onto their trailer. Having a good time. Oh yeah. Just cruising, low range, about 20 mile an hour. Pulling Blake in the shitbox forerunner is awesome. Well, this is what we came here for. So uh, it is uh, starting to get a little cold and breezy. Probably not a bad time to take a break off the dunes for a minute anyway. We'll get this thing to camp, get him loaded up, go back out and have some fun. So we got Blake back to the campground and now we're just down here at the beach hanging out with the rest of the crew here. They all brought their red, white, and blue rangers down and just kind of watching some of the rigs roll by. There's some neat stuff here.
classy Toyota out here. Lexus. Yeah, don't tell anybody, but apparently we're having a good time. Uh, Fender Flare is trying to leave the chat. Must be these tires are rubbing back here because they folded the metal part of the fender. We're gonna see if we can borrow a hammer and beat this lip back and do some trimming because it's, apparently it's actually cut in the tire. So that isn't good. We don't want that. This side's even worse because it used to be silver. Yeah, not cool. Tell the bump stop's been working by the perfect circle that it left on the control arm. <laughs> Crazy. So, we gotta try and do some hammering. The fender flare was hanging on by one screw, so we ditched fender flares on both sides on the front. This side looks stupid because it was a silver fender, but this side doesn't look as bad. But, yeah, you can see tires hitting way up into here. Ben is helping clearance for 35s. I can feel that in my feet. Maybe.
doing? Pull four. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Real stuck. Dude, I got it in my hair. I got, I got it everywhere. in the vents. I, it is everywhere. <laughs> that just happened. So Blake and I just had a bad experience. <laughs> it's, it's come out. <laughs> it is, yeah, we may, <laughs> we may have gotten a little sand in the, yeah. Yeah, there's literally sand blowing out of my dash. When you had a little too much fun at the sand dunes. Well, the alignment guy must have been good because even after a day's worth of abuse at the sand dunes it still drives straight the steering wheel straight and uh we went approximately 41 miles and we burned through a half a tank of gas so i know we were having a good time the fun of the sand dunes sand 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 it's even on the dash. It's everywhere. But man, did we have fun. <laughs>